Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Normally you say Frank. Now I've moved on to bud. Yeah. What's, what's better, bud or Frank? You well, both are running concurrently. What's uh, what would be like? Have you ever thought of like what's like cute, cute little friend names you would give me? Like cool, like Coolio dude, like Dudio. Dudio. Yeah, I don't know. Like uh, no, usually Frank, Frankie. Those are your nicknames. Frankie, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't guess. think I've ever called you Francisco in my life. Not seriously. No. Probably in like a joking manner. Yeah. Uh, but uh, probably when I feel like being a little racist. You know little, what I mean? Well, slightly, just a little. Say my blood. It, well, you have to. You have to. Everyone's a little bit, right? What am I gonna do? Fight nature? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hot start to this episode. This butt over here is doing well. Butt or bud? Bud. Oh, I was like, this butt. I was I like, I am what? doing well. Yeah, How why? are you? I'm doing good. You why doing? are you dancing? Because uh, I mean, I, you started off pretty I nice. I like your curls. Thank you. They're nice. Well, I This like table, it. by the way, what did you do to it? The first day that I got Seriously, here. Seriously, because it's like falling apart here. This scene. That I don't know what, what, what that's the about. The legs are all fucked up. That I did. What did you do? When I was putting it together... I went to go move it, and I thought I could drag it, and I and couldn't you drag you moved it. the leg. Because the leg just went, no, 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 no. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I stopped, and then I had to, like, tape it because I, like, fucked up the leg immediately. Gotcha. But people come in here when, when we're shooting stuff, and they try to sit on the edge of the table. Well, I remember like, there's chairs about. Yeah, I mean, there are chairs about. I remember Greg sat on this, and you got, like, very, like, because business I, Joe on him. You were like, can you fucking... And that's how I... That's, <laughs> that's a business Joe response to anything. If you guys... Like, business Joe... He gets like very like, and like matter of a fact, like, God, you know, like, can you, f well, I was trying to save the table, buddy. Uh, get a new fucking table, billionaire bitch. I don't even know where I bought these. I, I would guarantee, have to I guarantee you can find another one of these tables. These are, these are nice tables though. I do like them. I do hate that it's, it's moving. So yeah, I, so I you might, might as well just get new tables. Spruce it up in here a little bit. Spruce? Spruce. Mm, what's my favorite tree? Is that a tree? Is it? Yeah, it is a tree. It is a tree. Why, why is that your favorite tree? It's the only one I can really you think, think of. of when I was in trees. Washington, we went to a spruce forest. Oh, my God. When I was traveling and I was doing hiking with my shredded legs. <laughs> my shredded legs? You love to throw in little, like, fucking, like, humble brags. That I saw a tree in Washington <laughs> State <laughs> where there's a, a, a ton of trees? There are a ton of, there are a ton of trees all over there. But spruce trees, aren't those just Christmas trees? Are they? I, I saw the world's tallest. Oh, no, we didn't go. I was going to say, did you go to the Redwoods where they have tree trunks that are like the size of this room? No, that's in California, I believe. Yeah, but I think they go up the coast, don't they? I don't, I don't know. Oregon's a crazy I'm place. not tapped into the tree industry. I, I like trees. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Such a pod, a dude podcast moment. Yeah. It's like, trees are fucking lit. <laughs> trees are fucking wild. I love trees. I like. Uh, Isn't it weird, though, that trees one day are just be like, Fire! Yeah, <laughs> they just like, set well, up. Oh no! But then, then there there are certain trees that like are like flowery, and then like cinnamon. Cinnamon's a tree. Wait, what? Cinnamon? Cinnamon comes from trees? Yeah, it's a tree bark. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is it really? Cinnamon comes from tree bark. Wait, are you fucking with me? I'm not. I'm uh, so I can walk up to a tree with my mouth open and eat some cinnamon. Um, well, maybe if you were in fucking Sri Lanka, you could, but not. Or I mean, maybe they have farms in the United States, but yeah, we have at at the house Becca's. Uh, like a family friend from Vietnam brought us a piece of uh, cinnamon bark. And it looks like... Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. And it's bark from a tree. And it's a cinnamon tree. I just typed in, what is cinnamon? Yeah. Holy shit. You fucking ruining yeah, you Dude, stuff you didn't know. Cinnamon is a spice obtained from the inner bark of several tree species from the genus... Cinnamon. I'm so that sounds nice wow. and bubbly. I didn't know that. You really didn't know that. I want to see a tree. A cinnamon tree. It looks like a tree. It just looks like a tree. It does. There's no, and then like, I can carve out the tree and then eat some cinnamon. Yeah. I love cinnamon. You might dude. as well grow one in your house. Grow a tree in my house. In a pot, bro. You you can grow trees in fucking pots. I know that. Why would I gonna make a cinnamon tree, Frank? It'd be a beautiful tree to have in your house. If you ever need some cinnamon, you just crack open the bark, and there you go. You got a brand new fucking fresh batch. You could just get cinnamon, though. You could do that. It's you could. But cinnamon uh, is it expensive? It's not one of those that's too expensive, right? Cinnamon. I love. Do you remember you and I in like two thousand and like seven doing the cinnamon challenge? Mm -hmm. We did it in your kitchen, and cinnamon went everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. 
Who's that? Didn't that sound like one a dragon or a little girl screaming? Do those two things sound the same? From far away, they do. Do they? <laughs> How often? Well, I I just answered my own question. You often hear little girls screaming. Um, <laughs> too much. You fucker. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Too much. Um. Well. Uh. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Good. Go. Welcome back. It's been a while, ladies and gentlemen, to your favorite edition of of uh, the basement. Your favorite part of the basement yard podcast. Where it's called Keeping It Frank. I haven't done this in a while. As you can tell, I'm kind of reeling a little bit. Yeah, you crushed the <laughs> intro there. <laughs> a little excited where we bring up things and we talk about them honestly. And we make sure that we always keep it frank. And folks, I am here with uh, my uh, wonderful, beautiful co-host, Joe Sanagato. Joe, how are you doing, bud? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you coming back. We actually, for our patrons, patreon.com slash the basement yard, we released an exclusive video that is only for our patrons where we settle a debate on who is more etiquette. Like, who just has more etiquette? Who has more? Who has better etiquette? I should say. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Fucked that up. It was. It's not an English class. It is not. It certainly ain't. Uh, and first of all, one of my favorite videos we've ever done. It was funny. It was really, really. Uh, uh, Micah Meyer. She was incredible in there, and you and I were just fucking firing on all cylinders. Get to your point. But there's a part of it, and we've talked about this on the episode. Where I say, you know, we talk about like bathroom etiquette and stuff like that. Do you remember that part of the episode? Do you, um, do you remember it? What do you remember about it? Why are you talking in that tone? What do you remember about bathroom etiquette? There wasn't bathroom etiquette. What do you, what is it like if we're sitting at a table and you have to go use the, 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 the bathroom? Do you want me to expedite this? Frankie? No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep it frank, bitch. You don't fucking step on my toes in my own segment. You fucking posted an Instagram story and you were like, I'm going to fucking eat ice cream and then shit the bed at 3 a.m. <laughs> and this is the prime example of Joe. Yeah. And I'm so glad we're putting this in an episode. Well, you haven't, you haven't it said It is enshrined why. in history forever. No. You'll never remove this or edit it out. No. Where you talked about shitting your pants, like I say, you do all the time. Yeah, Frankie thinks that I talk about shitting all the time, which is not true. You talk about the fact that, like, Joe, you have IBS. And I'm like, no, you I do don't. You do have IBS, but I'm talking more about your health because I'm trying to make sure that you're being, you know, responsible. Uh -huh. You're talking about the fact that you're just fucking, we'll be done and you'll be like, I have to shist. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. I, 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 Frankie, what? I, I, humans poop. Yes, I know humans poop, but humans don't need to fucking talk about the fact that they shit. No one do and who's chatting about it? You. No, I yes. don't. Yes, and that was a perfect video, a perfect example of how you fucking gaslight me. Like a just a violent just like a just like a real perpetrator. <laughs> you, you you wanted to say something at the beginning of that sentence and then you got there. It did, and like yeah. it's not where you wanted I told, to be. I told I had to like chill out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. But like that that's a perfect example of, of me being right, of proving my point. So you have one example of me talking about shitting myself. Because that's because the one I that really you wanted you decided, ice cream. No, that's the one that you decided to put on the internet. But there are so many other examples. I really wanted ice cream, and I was like this close. And then my sister texted me, and she's like, "I saw your story. Get Cold Stone." And I was like, "What's wrong with you?" That so is, I was like, I was, "I was this close." After that, I went on the app, and I was like, "Whoa!" But then I just ate a lollipop in bed. <laughs> ate a lollipop Were in you bed clothed? last night. I had boxers on. So, but you were in only boxers eating a lollipop? Yeah. You could have made a ton of money on OnlyFans. What are you doing? Eating lollipops? Bro, you eating a lollipop, people would love to see you oh my God. choke I that actually, bad boy down. I screenshot. Oh, wait, sorry. Before we go to your screenshot, don't you ever try to say you don't talk about it because here on the episodes of The Basement Yard, we keep it frank. That's the part you wanted to <laughs> fill in? One, I got a <laughs> stupid fuck. I'm glad you entertain yourself. I do. I, you know, if I make anyone here laugh, it's myself. Right. Um, I posted. I, well, actually, no. I just got a random DM. But then you can see the older DMs that people have sent you. And a man uh, sent me a, a DM and says, size are those? Ha! You need an OnlyFans, man. You do. Right? So this was in November. And he was referring to my feet. Oh, then well. he, he hit me up last night. And he said... <laughs> I just thought the wording was so funny. He wrote, only fans, buddy. I've been saying this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm wasting his time. You Bro, are, I, I've been saying I've it been, to you. I've you haven't doing, done it. You well, fucking he's trying, to, he's trying to help you with a new business venture. I'm shocked that you haven't gone into that world yet. I don't know. But then I also saw another one. Uh, 
from someone that said, I want you to rub that dirty ass dick all over my butt, Daddy oh, no. Joey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why would why? you call this shit dirty? And why would you, like, where, why on the butt? Like, all over the butt? Yeah, rub my Is rub that like a thing butt? that people get turned on by? Just rubbing the wiener on the butt? I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't want to get touched by a wiener. I don't. I definitely don't want to get touched by a wiener. If I did want to get touched by a wiener, it would be a clean one. Yes. I think that's an acceptable, you know, not a lot to ask for. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Reminds me of the episode of Sunny where they go to the ski resort and Dennis is like, you will be bathed and then I will enter you, <laughs> but only if you are clean. <laughs> you will be bathed. You will be cleaned. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't want it rubbed on the top of my butt. Yeah. If I was into penises, I assume I would want it inside of my in, butt. In it. Yeah. You know, going in and out of it. I just said in it. Wait, were you going to leave it in they there like just, a fucking Mormon? They, yeah, they can just soak in there. I don't know. No, that's not cool. That doesn't sound that cool, actually. No. Are Now, are you close in theory to making an OnlyFans? No. Do we have something to announce here? We have nothing to announce. Are you sure? I am positive. Oh, you, I think you would really, you'd make, it's just another source of income. Why not do it? Oh, what Greg told me. Joey hates money. <laughs> How can I? Uh, first of all, I hate money, but then I'm a, I'm a, a tyrant billionaire. Yes. Got it. Yeah. Um, uh, I have, is that like the, have you ever sent like a weird DM, like knowingly or unknowingly? Sent one? Yeah. It depends what you mean by weird. Like horny? Not horny. So I've, I did, <laughs> when Jennifer. I'm, I'm very. When Je Jennifer Aniston. You okay. okay? She first joined Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, I sent her a DM and I went, "How about a coffee?" <laughs> <laughs> but I only did it so I could screenshot it. Honest, uh, fair enough. For but the, I also didn't unsend it because I was like, maybe for the clout, you did it. I didn't even post it, but I was sending it to like as a joke. You yeah, did to it like as my a friends, joke. like, oh, yo, maybe. Yeah, it would have been a real joke though if she responded saying, "How about tea." And then you'd and then you'd hit me up and you'd say, "Help me out! What do I get?" Yeah, and I'd say, "Oh, how the t tables have turned." No, I don't think that she. I don't. She she doesn't drink tea. What does she drink? Don't like freaks like that. Like freaks. <laughs> Calm down. I'm talking about Jennifer Aniston. Here. I know. Don't they like not drink caffeine because it, it will like fuck their body up or something? Jennifer Lopez came out recently and she was like, "I only eat vegetables and fruit. No fucking caffeine. No alcohol." And it's like that sucks. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's just like the who are you saying for? Oh, like do you think she's like super healthy or something? Yeah, like all oh, those I don't like know Hollywood that. freaks that like you know like what if Paltrow said that she has a diet of just bone broth? I don't even really know what that is. Is it like a soup from bones? It, it, yeah, yes, in theory. Yes. But how do you make a soup out of bones? You let the bones and the marrow soak in the water, and it becomes a broth, Joey. Ew, that sounds disgusting. Whose bones? Human bones? No, they're not human bones. Well, they you just said bones. Bones of, of, of various animals. Oh, Cows, it's any bone? Oxen. Goat. Oxen? Oxen. <laughs> Why'd you say oxen? Because. What do you think chicken stock is? Chicken bones? It's chicken and chicken bones soaked in water. I, I honestly did not know. I don't know what a broth is. I just know that it's, a, it's the water in the it soup. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing to me. That you have created this social media empire for yourself, <laughs> yet you don't understand the concept behind soup. Well, I, I know what soup is. So can is. I ask you a serious question? Uh, okay, uh-oh. Uh, let's start with a chicken noodle. I'm scared. Go ahead. If I were to ask you to make a chicken noodle soup from scratch. Oh, from scratch? Yes. Not, not, not. Uh -huh. How would you do it? I would go to the store. Okay, we skip all that. You have all the ingredients at your house. Just tell me what ingredients they are and how you go about using them. I put chicken in it that I cooked, obviously. You're putting cooked chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Half cooked, because then the rest will cook in the what is boil. Half Medium rare chicken? Yeah. Okay. You don't cook it full, okay. and then you put it in the... You brown it. Well, no, it's well, not it's onions. Yeah. Well, no, you can brown meat. Sure. <laughs> um, but So I would do that. Then I would probably chop up a bunch of, like, carrots and, like, uh, maybe celery. What? <laughs> Celery. Okay. Um, put that in there. Okay. Maybe some salt or something like that. Okay. Um, so then, right now we just have a pot of chicken, chicken, celery, <laughs> carrots, and salt. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then I would just put a whole bunch of broth in it. What's the broth? 
it's in the store. Well, but say you were to make broth. I was going to make it? Yeah. We would run into a problem. <laughs> Because I'd be like, I don't know what because broth is. Because your fucking 31-year-old brain can't comprehend the idea. Sorry that I've never boiled bones before and made a sauce with it, Frankie. Well, Joey, you're a fucking 31-year-old man. You should be able to how grasp many, the how concept. How many bones have you boiled? A lot, honestly. Have you? Yeah, I've made a is lot Is that a of, thing that people I've made have a lot. I've made beef broth, bone broth, chicken broth, but can't you just turkey go to the, broth, can't you just, vegetable broth. Okay, are you done? There's, there's, can you just go to the store and be like, broth? Yes, yes, you can. Oh. Absolutely. But... It takes away from it a little bit because then you need to see what's the sodium intake on those because those are loaded. They're sitting on the shelf for a while and they're loaded with salt as a preservative. Oh, yeah? Do you also walk to a well to get your water supply? Uh, no, Joey, because guess what? Fucking sewage and water is one of the most incredible advances in scientific infrastructure that we've had. Okay? Okay. So, no, I don't go out and get fucking well water. Although there are people that do get well water. I don't have anything against it. Although- Amish people, no? Well, there, there, there are some homes and. I can never get water out of a well. I just think there's a dead person in there. Well, that would be the problem. Is Samara's at the bottom of it, and she's fucking just floating there. How could you drink out of a well? I, I, I'm more afraid of wells than anything else. Yeah. When have you ever heard of a well in a positive light? Literally never. Never, right? My brother at his old house had this thing in his backyard. Well, that wasn't a well. What was that? What is that? I. It's I, like a. I had never been so. <laughs> fuck! It's like where all his shit goes. A septic tank? <laughs> so, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I not thought it was not a only well. do you not understand the but concept it was shaped of broth, like a well. not only do you not un- it was shaped like a well? It was covered. It's a tank in the ground, Joey. It's in it pe- was in the ground, but it's a hole in the ground, and that's what a well, well is. Well, there's a cover on it. There was, there was cement. So not only do you not understand the concept of no, I get broth, it. You, you believe that well water wasn't... and sewage <laughs> fucking water are the same thing? Uh, no, I don't think they're the same thing, but I do think I'm equally as scared of them. Septic tanks are a little scary. Have you ever been around one when it's been opened? I have. And no. they're stinky. Well, there's shit poo there's in there. A, bro, you have no idea. So much shit poo? You don't, like, you can't. This is a serious... You can't grasp how much humans create waste until you see it in a fucking tank. Like when... <laughs> and don't tell me you don't do this because you're a big shitter. You ever get done and then you look at the toilet and just like, whoa. Like what? Like, that was a lot. Whoa, that from me? Like, that's a lot? And then like wondering like... Or a little. And then wondering like, how much does that weigh? Oh, I mean, everyone's... Sh- Taking a shit and then weigh themselves after. Everyone's done that. Some people have done it a little more frequently. When I know that there's going to be a big snake. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. Then, I, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to weigh myself. Before and after. And then take this doof. Get, get an idea. Get an idea. Yeah. But at the lake house, it's all septic. I know. So like once every couple of years. Oh my God, did you ever have to do that? Do you guys have to do that? Yes. Ew, where does it go? A big old truck. Oh, with, and it sucks it with out? With a hose. <laughs> and like a hose. Like a fucking hose. Is it clear? It's No, it's like... Uh, the one I think it was like green or yellow. Okay. And like the rubber was green or yellow, not because of, as a result of collecting human fecal matter. Got it. And there are two tanks. There's a tank that does liquids and a tank that does solids. And the liquids are supposed to drain like... it's called a, There's something called a leach field where it's supposed to drain into the fucking soil to like fertilize the soil. Piss? Yeah. It's just pee, dude. Yeah, it's a ton of piss in one draw, one go. Well, not at the same time. It's constantly fucking leaching into the field. Okay. But we open the poop one. No, bro. Imagine a room. There are tanks that are as big as this room, filled, filled to the poop. top with shit. That's so bad. And it smells. Well, it's a lot of dookie. It's a, it smells so gross. But honestly, kind of nice. What? You know what I'm talking about. Nope. You know when something's so gross smelling that it's kind of it comes back full around to smelling good. Frankie, you're talking about a full tank of shit. It's like well, hold on. It's like it's like movies. When movies are so bad that they become they come back full around and they're funny because of how bad they are. Frankie, again, a bunch of human shit. Yes, I know. So, I'm not- question. You're there with the tank, and there's a bunch of shit. Around <laughs> and it smells like shit. Yep. And you're like, ew. And then you tell me eventually you're like, but nice. It's like gasoline. 
No, gasoline's good no, all the time. No, no, no. It's you like, can't drink it, but you can smell the shit out of it. You can put it in your mouth. I've seen people put gasoline in their mouth. They spit it right back out, though. Don't, don't, oh, I oh, I want to do that. Don't try. I do like, too. You honestly, spit fire. Well, no, I I saw it because someone was like getting a, a like a jet ski ready to get put in the water. Oh, they were siphoning. They're like si- trying to figure out like is my that dad. Water? That's gas. My dad did that. Uh, with our pool when we were opening it, it was like literally green, and he he threw up all over the alleyway, <laughs> which was which was pretty on par for like your my dad, dad. Your dad loves to throw. We throw up. up all the time. That's a big big thrower up. My or? dad would get like my dad would sweep into himself, and then dust would kick up into his face, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, what? Well, <laughs> and then and he you start throw throwing up. <laughs> Dude, he got so mad at me one time because we were a fucking idiot. Yeah, we were cleaning out the garage. And he's sweeping, and we were like carrying all the stuff out, me and my brothers. And he's sweeping into himself, instead of like a, across or away, into himself. Hmm. And it's going in his face. And I'm laughing because yeah. I'm like, this is, is so fu- stupid. That is funny. Did you get hit? I'll get to that. No, okay. <laughs> then he starts, he starts going like, why, what? And I'm like, dude, you're, I was like, sweep away, sweep away, you know? And then he started throwing up into a big garbage pan. And now I'm, Dying laughing. Men born between the years of 1945 and like 1970, you can't tell them what to do, even if they're doing something it's wrong. It's insane because they'll hit, they'll kill you for it. Not only that, but that same day, there used to be a, a bench press in my garage, and it was More like humble bragging. <laughs> my spare time, I'd play video games, then just go fucking put up thir- 135. <laughs> <laughs> but he put 135 on it, and I was like 16 or something at the time. And he wanted to see if I could do it. And he had, like, thrown up, basically, on the fucking thing. And he's like, try it. I was like, I'm not fucking, no. <laughs> Lay in my vomit. So what does he do? Uh. And just wipes it. And he goes, come on. I go, Dad, your why dad, do you think I'm going to do, get on it now? Your dad is an anomaly. It's and crazy. I would love, uh, can I ask you a serious question? Your parents, yeah, <laughs> gone. This Not gone dead, but like their relationship is dead. Right. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to go back and see what it was like when they were like hard in love? What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Because like your dad is an anomaly. Your dad is by all accounts disgusting. Wow. Let's talk about your fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to him. <laughs> but like what your are you mom, getting at? And what I'm getting at is like your mom is like this like beautiful like she's proper and like well put together and like kind of like she like looks great and always smells great how the fuck did they at one point like each other well he wasn't always like that i guess i guess so well he's just like a he's a he was a fireman construction guy so he was just spitting oh fucking, okay i guess it was I mean? like opposites attract like your mom was just like look he's a rugged guy and i kind of like that yeah yeah I guess I mean I, I assume He wasn't always Just throwing up As much as he did When <laughs> throwing I saw Throwing up him. on bench press benches Yeah He got an ounce Of dust in his throat And he's like <laughs> I was like Jesus What do you think well, with like- the, Yo with the pool though I was dying <laughs> laughing One it's actually I didn't That was the first time I could I knew that A siphon existed <laughs> Stop laughing Dude I didn't know this existed, but he's like, all you have to do, because he's like, I got to drain the is pool. dump it. And it's like, you put the hose in, and you, you just like suck it out like this, and then it'll just drain. Science, like, baby. It'll just go. And I was like, wow. Wait, you understand but, that, but not broth. I don't know what broth is. <laughs> okay. I didn't know it came from bones. I thought it was or, just- Or just meat. I thought it was like leftover from, like, okay, this is going to- Like drippings and stuff? That could be added to this broth. This is what I thought broth was. I thought that like- you put water in a thing, and then you put. Merch is approved. What? Merch is approved. The merch is approved. And Adam Jeff hit a home run in the first. Stop! Game. No, he didn't. <laughs> there, there goes my money. Well, I don't care. Yankees, baby. He's yeah. back at it. Guys, there's new merch. Ah! There's new merch. Here are it we, is. Are we getting that in? Yes. <laughs> Guys, there's new merch. Basement yard merch. We wouldn't. We didn't know if it was gonna get approved. We got approved in time, but. It did, uh, and me. And it's f- funny because we award on an episode that's coming out tomorrow. I know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we could. We didn't know if it was gonna come out for sure, but now we do. Uh, but yeah, it's the basement yard face-off shirts. Uh, me and Frank there, and then on the front here it says basement yard. Yeah, mine. I. I. Mine is a little. This is the front of mine. It's a misprint though. Yeah, it is. So but, <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. So go to. Look at uh, that. It's very like fucking blah, 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 like rock and roll vibes. It is. You're in charge. Go to com. Sanagatastudios.com. Oh, uh, and go purchase it. Shop.sanagatastudios.com. 
Bastards. Sorry. Um, what were we saying? Something about broth. Oh, this is what I thought broth was. Okay. I thought that broth was like if you put all the ingredients of a chicken noodle soup and then just put water and let it cook, it would become broth. Yes. But I know bones. Bones could be in there, Joe. You could put a whole fucking chicken in there. I, but I wouldn't. I just thought it was you like could, chopped Joey. up. You could, Joey. You could. Yes, but bo- broth only comes from bones? It can, no, it can come from the meat too. It's the whole thing. If you have like, you never heard of people taking like leftover, like, you know, like turkey carcasses or. or carcasses? <laughs> what? What's so funny about that? I don't know. What's so funny? I don't know. <laughs> leftover turkey carcasses. What? I don't know why that's striking why, me as so funny. Why is that so funny? Because it sounds like roadkill. It, it, well, carcasses. From like Thanksgiving. There's a carcass out in the parking lot. You saw that? Yeah, that rat's there was, gone. There was a rat out who, who got hit in a way that his whole body it came out of his smushed. ass. Yeah. It, but it, it came smushed. out of his ass. Yes, I know. I saw it. That's a carcass. That's a carcass. But all right, if you were to take that rat carcass. Don't. You shouldn't. And dunk it and like put it in water to boil. It'll extract flavors and it'll come. it'll become broth. Oh, so a broth is just like... It's, it's extraction with water. Extraction with water. So it's kind of like, like, a, like a flavored seltzer, but for soup. If the flavored seltzer were flavored with fruit that you like let sit in it, it's like... It's let like me ask meat, you a question. Like, I'll do you this. It's like meat sangria. That ill. That sounds disgusting. Why? Sangria is just red wine and you throw a bunch of fruit in it and you let it fucking sit and chill and become awesome. Is that true? Yeah. Nice. Wait, you never knew. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Not only did you not know what fucking broth was, you didn't know what sangria was? No. I knew there was wine and obviously there's fruit in it, but I didn't know that was it. <laughs> I thought like, what, do you know why they call it sangria? Sa- no, I have no idea. It, sangria is typically made with red wine and it comes from the Spanish word sangre, which is? Songs. No. <laughs> blood. Ew. Yeah. So it's like the idea is like, because, you know, blood the blood of Christ, of Christ, you know, but with fruit and, the, and it becomes cooler. It's like sangria. Mm-hmm. I feel like you were onto something. I'm the last I'm, part you made. I'm up. not onto it. I nailed it. <laughs> I got it. Wait, there's nothing else in there. Uh, oh, sangria. Yeah. It's red wine and fruit. Yes, and you let it sit for a day. But then people make it with white wine, or like they they throw other like spices. Tequila. In there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> you you got you were able to be wrong really 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 quickly. I don't know, dude. That's what I I don't know. Usually, it just throw tequila into stuff. Um. Well, you can, but then in a it, broth, you could. I guess in theory, put tequila in a broth. I can do whatever I want. You could, baby. In this country. We do have some uh, sponsors for today. The first one being Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace is amazing. Uh, this is where you're going to want to go and uh, create a site for yourself. If you have a online st- online store, you're selling anything, you want to engage with an audience, or you just want a beautiful website, um, you can keep your products or the content you create on this site um, with Squarespace. They're going to help you build it. Um, and Squarespace I've used multiple times uh, to create websites, and it is by far the easiest one I have ever used, and it's the most invo- like the most useful as well. Um, but yeah, so if you have like an e-commerce store, or you you want to create a website for yourself or your brand, uh, this is the one to do it. Go to squarespace.com uh, and uh, squarespace.com/basement for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Um, but yeah. Uh, websites are still uh, a really cool way for people to kind of like find you and contact you, especially if you have a business, like I said. Um, so yeah, get to it. Uh, go to uh, squarespace.com slash basement. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. And don't worry about building out the website and you're thinking you have some professional person to do that. Uh, they make it very easy with their templates. Um, you can create a beautiful website with basically the click of a finger. Um, so definitely go check them out. Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement. Use the off code basement. All right. Um, and this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy. Um, and yeah, so I think that everyone should be in therapy. I just, we record on Thursdays. That's when I have my therapy in the morning. 
I love therapy. It makes me feel better, has helped me through tough times. And uh, it's like, you know, a gym for your mind. So you go to the gym, even though if, even if you're in good shape or whatever, you go to the gym because it feels nice. It makes you feel good. And that's what therapy is too. Um, so even if you don't have anything traumatic or anything crazy going on in your life, uh, you can still benefit from it um, just to stay on top of your stuff. But BetterHelp makes it a lot easier to, uh, you know, get a therapist because you start chatting with one in just under 48 hours, I believe. And uh, they make it very easy to switch from therapist to therapist so that you can find the right fit for you. And and it's more affordable than in-person therapy as well. On top of that, you can save an extra 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash basementyard. That is betterhelp.com slash basementyard, and you will get 10% off of your first month. Okay? So go check it out. Yeah, and while you're doing that, after you do all that fun stuff, you can go out and check out the Patreon, baby. Patreon.com slash the basement yard is where we tell you guys to go check out so you can support us if you can. If you can't, it's all right. Maybe at another point, maybe someone will gift it to you. Maybe someone is just going to be super sweet and give you the gift of the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the basement yard is definitely where you want to be. It's going to make your eyes, ooh, twinkle, just like the stars in space, all right, baby? <laughs> uh, just uh, those, those eyes are going to be shining. Just adding beauty to your face. There's a little, there's a little Easter egg for people over there. A lot of people might not be getting, but nonetheless, you want to go there. You can get these weekly episodes a week in advance if you sign up for that first tier. Then the second tier, where that's where you get the chef's kiss. You get the little extra, little dab, a little extra dab, a little everything bagel hot sauce on you. You don't get any everything bagel hot sauce. That you have to get separately, but you do get exclusive videos every single Friday. Where. Joey and I get to just be ourselves, just be a little kooky and, and crazy. We're climbing those ranks. We're getting closer to 19,000. We're getting closer to 20,000. And then eventually 100,000 where we'll do a Patreon exclusive video of Joe and I just making out for a full hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right? So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. <laughs> for an hour and a half, you, you said? Bro, I mean, listen, if we got to 100,000 patrons... Frankie. If we got to 100,000 patrons, no. you you wouldn't do it? Make out with you for an hour and a half? Straight. I think that if I made out with anyone for an hour yeah. and a half, by the end of that, I'd be like, that was disgusting. Yeah, but you know what? Be grateful, because six-year-old, six, six old sixth grade Joe would have killed to make out with someone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, was I making out? You know it too, baby. Yeah, that's true. Oh, man. Um, But I wouldn't have been dying to make out with you, that's for sure. Uh... Anyway, that's, uh, how are you offended by that? Listen, we're both straight men. We have no desire to make out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we have no desire to make out with each other. Yeah. But I, I, I think I would be a good, a good kiss for you. Cool. Um, what was the thing that you were going to, you were talking about before we came in here about Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> There's a guy that's suing Buffalo Wild Wings because he's saying that their boneless wings are just chicken nuggets. And if I'm being honest... That's what boneless wings are. I'm fucking joining this class action lawsuit, baby. What do you mean? You're against Buffalo Wild Wings? No, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. Although I did see the salt content in their sauces. You bring that up every single time we talk about Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Legitimately. I've I never eaten at a Buffalo Wild Wings. You know that? Oh, you're missing out. They're fried pickles. Unbelievable. They're fried wings. Their parm garlic, send me to space and tell my mom that she can have what's left. That's not an expression. At all. <laughs> but I'm a big Buffalo Wild Wing fan. I like. Do you like? Do you like um, boneless or boned? It's not called boned. They're not. No one's having sex with the wings, as no, far as I know. Boned. No. They're boned. They're bone in. The bone yeah, if the bone's in, you're getting boned. No, Joey. No, yeah. because they're not getting boned because they had a bone in there to begin with. They're not adding any bones. They're leaving what's there. Well, no, you're they're boned. No. The wing is boned. No. I know that it's called bone in. I yeah, know that. That's what it is, because the bone is remaining in. Fine. When let me ask you. Bone in. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Boned in. No. Let me ask you. Yeah. If you were to walk out there and just get, get absolutely, like, someone were to have sex with you, put something in your butt. I'd be boned. You would be boned. Why? But, but because they're adding. A bone in. They're adding to you. They're getting a bone in. But they're adding. It's an, it's an addition of a bone into your orifices. Okay. Orify. Excuse me. Well, just one. Well, you might get it. <laughs> you never know where you're getting your bones. It's true. So, you're, you in that moment have been boned. Yeah. But whatever. Okay. 
I'm a big bone in guy. Yeah, me too. Because it adds flavor. I, does it? Yeah. I raw. like to chew on the bones. Oh. You don't like to chew on the bone a little bit? Just like the end of it, like a, like just gnaw on it? No. I, I pretend like, like I'm, a, I'm a tiger. I get very like, are you a drumstick or a wing guy? You mean a flat? Yeah. Yeah, I like flats. You like flats? I don't mind flats. I like getting my tongue in between the thing. Yeah, and you're just like, la, 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 la. And I yeah. stick my tongue through it and I get all the meat. Yeah. Oh, when you when I can do that, where I can just grab the wing and be like, oh, and then I take it out and it's just bone dry. Bone dry. I love I'm it. like, yo, that's I really, look so cool now. You do look cool. I would say. Uh, you can't do that with a drumstick. You can. There's a lot of cartilage at the top, though. I don't, I don't like, like to eat like all that. that. It's a little cartilagey for me. Yeah, I don't like that. I would say a flat, but with fat. Fat meat on it. You know what I'm saying? And you, crispy skin. How do you eat a wing? How do you... All right. All right take, uh, we're eating wings, dude. What are they, he's getting a runner stance. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I have to prepare the wing because I go to town on wings. What, if I, Serious question. Bone-in wings. How many do you think you can eat? Un, uh, like, f- until you can't eat anything. Like, uh, for sport? Or, like, is it a competition? For sport. All life is a sport. I can eat, I mean, I, I usually order 12 and I can eat them and it's like not an issue not literally an issue. at all. 15? No, dude. More. 20. I think I could eat 24 wings. 24? We should do a wing eating competition, you and I. <laughs> oh, man. That, that would be, I think I would fucking maul you. How many do you think you could eat? Bone in? At least 30. 30 wings. Yeah. I could do wings. And it depends on the sauce too because you know I like spicy stuff. Yeah. So like, if it's too hot, I might it might take away from. Nah, you go like a nice buffalo, huh? A nice but or like garlic parm. Garlic parm. Send I'll me to fuck town. That. <laughs> Send me to town. Um, were you there when? I like wet wings though. I like when they're wet. I don't like dry. I don't wings. like dry rubs. I don't like dry rubs. I like it. I like I like meat with dry rubs. But no, but then it gets wet because of the meat. Right. No, no. There's no rub that's dry. That's good. Even hand jobs. Little, little, little moisture. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some stuff you in get here. Get some moisture. Spit in the dry rub for all I care. Just Somebody. Make it not dry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wings that are tossed dry. But I like wet, like mild sauce on them. Anytime, That's anytime fine. I get wings, I ask for extra sauce on the wings. So at the bottom there's extra, and I sop it up. Oh, I sop it I up. I like that too. I do. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I just want you to be very clear. Yeah. I before we started recording, started talking to you about my diet and how I've changed it. Yeah. Out the window today. After oh, you, this conversation. Oh, you're gonna go get wings. A hundred thousand. I'm down to do a wing eating contest. I think. Ooh, let's toss them in everything bagel hot sauce. That's oh. hot though. We've done. I mean, I would. I would eat four would, million of them in yeah. everything bagel hot sauce. You, you were you the one? Oh no, Greg was the first one. But then you told me you're like, yo, I put it on chicken and I'm like dying. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's I've, really good. I've, and I'm not just saying this because you're the best friend of my entire life and my best friend <laughs> in the entire world. I have put that, yeah, on at least twenty different dishes. Yeah, never found a weakness for it. I'll be honest with you, fish. Fish. Amazing! Oh yeah! You put it on fish! Oh yeah! yeah. Jesus! <laughs> oh yeah! Wow! A little uh, Becca made uh, like a little salmon bites. Ooh! She tossed them in like ginger and brown sugar and stuff. Ooh! Yeah, she, woman I love. <laughs> a little a little dipsy poo, a little on there. Incredible! Absolutely incredible! It's really good. But do you going back? So you think you could do more or less wings than me? Uh. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm not familiar with your eating habits. Oh, I'll tell you. I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have like moments where like I c- I could eat like holy shit, I ate a lot today. But then other times where I'm like I eat like a bitch. My I have this problem where I'm never really full. Got it. I can always eat. Mm. You know how people say like oh there's always room for dessert. <laughs> That's not what they say. <laughs> dessert. <laughs> <laughs> there's always room for dessert. It's a dessert. Yeah. I have always room for always more food. <laughs> I don't have That's that. That's my superpower. I rarely get dessert at restaurants. I almost always. I was I was cucked into dessert the other day. How were you cucked? Dude, the guy came over and was like, we, what are we thinking of for dessert? And I was like, oh, I don't. And he's like, here's what you're going to do. <laughs> You're gonna fucking and he was super oh, he was Italian. A cool waiter. Yeah, he was one of those cool waiters. I made the mistake of joking with him very early on, and then all of a sudden, and he probably knew you. 
I don't think so. He never said anything. But anyway, he uh, he was like, for dessert, he's like, you got it. You, you're going to get, he's like, here's what you're going to do, right? Just dominated me. And then was like, get this and this thing, right? And I'm like, all right. I was like, and it sounded good. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, can we just see the menu? Just like, see what else is on. He's like, forget the menu. Fuck the oh, menu. Fuck the menu. <laughs> Literally this wouldn't guy, let me see the we've menu. We've both been dominated by men in the same week. Dude, he's like, forget, fuck the menu. He's like, get this. And I was like, oh, what, what choice do I have You here? don't have a choice. He literally just shoved it down your throat, basically. It was mad good, too. That's, was it good? What was it? It was like, it, I don't even know, bro. It was some espresso ice cream thing. It was uh, fucking yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good, not for, I, I'm not a big espresso guy. But I was like, damn. I, I. You get, you get, you get a dessert all the time in ice, uh, restaurants? Pretty much. I mean, uh, look, last time we went out, I got that fucking maple creme brulee, oh, and fuck. I wanted to sit on it. That's another thing. I don't know what it is. What is it? Creme brulee. It's, it's like a cream a, custard? It's a, it's a custard, and then they sugar. put sugar on top, and they use a torch to hard, harden the sugar. I like hardened sugar. I do, too. It's like glass. Have you ever had a, a, or like seen a glass bottle? I have seen a glass bottle. What is that? Like sugar glass, though. Oh, no. Yeah, when I was, because remember, I did musical theater. Have I ever brought that up? And um, there was a scene in Fiddler on the Roof, <laughs> which, come on, I'm going to talk about stuff. You don't, I don't think you came to see me in Fiddler on the Roof, right? No, I came to Don, Don Quixote. Yeah. Uh, Man of La Mancha. Sorry. I played in Fiddler on the Roof. I, I played one of the ensemble, Avram, the bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. In hindsight, a little insensitive. That you were of Ram? That I, like the way I was acting. What were you doing? <laughs> Who is of Ram? What, of, what culture are they? You've never seen Fiddler on the Roof? No. Jews. All of them. <laughs> They're all Jewish. <laughs> and you're not Jewish. I'm definitely not. Yeah. And like looking back, I remember the direction from our, uh, like our, our theater director. And he told me, he was like, if you go too big, it becomes like a like a cartoony, and I was like, okay. go too big. <laughs> yeah. Was, oh, because you were being too Jewish. I was being too like insensitively Jewish. Got it. And looking back, oops. Yeah. But at the time, I I liked it, like an accent and everything. Well, I mean, you're in a play. I well, that's the, that's my defense. It's like I was acting. You know, like no one gets mad at like. Yeah, you weren't walking down the street pretending to be Jewish. Yes, exactly. I wasn't, but. But you're off wrong. But during like intermission. Oh God. <laughs> he had some of the ensemble go out to like interact with people and he was like stay in character wait hold on <laughs> time out you guys had intermission in high school <laughs> and they sent you out as characters and yeah. you walked out there as Avram the, Avram, Jewish, book the Jewish bookkeeper to people you know and <laughs> yes yep that's unbelievable and probably very insensitive. That's good. Or anti-Semitic. Whatever word f f seems better. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. But just like a hyper character. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I remember. It was it was not great. How did we get here? Uh, I don't know. You started wanting to talk about you Musical being anti-Semitic, I guess. No, I'm not anti-Semitic. You were playing a from, I'm though. <laughs> It was just a play. It's a beautiful play. You should, if you've never seen the movie or. I what. mean, do it right now if you want. Um, don't. I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, I'm I not gonna. Don Quixote was cool though. I was fire. Uh, back to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Is that where we were? Somehow we got from Buffalo Wild Wings to Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Make the connection, bro. Do you feel that you have ever been wronged by food that you would like sue an establishment over it? No, if I get uh, food poisoning from a place, I'll never go there again. Like, crave in Astoria. Yeah, but it's like it also like changed. It's, it closed. Yeah, but also. But I like never you ordered never from there to again. Go back there. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Yeah, and then also, uh, Subway. I'll go back to Subway, but not that Subway, which I, it's in Vermont. I'll never uh, yeah, eat there again. <laughs> <laughs> but I went there and I was like, fuck that. So like if I go into a place Damn. and I get food poisoning, I won't go back. It's so fucked up that all this bad stuff has come about Subway because back in the day, fire. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, you loved it a lot more when Jared was just running amok. Stop that. And you loved it. Stop that. That's when it was good. Stop He's, that. No. That's no. when you liked it. It was the, better. The only reason way. I supported it at that point in time because the sandwiches are good and because you invested heavily in Jared. You said, I believe in Jared. No, I feel like you... 
Yeah, but I never hung out with him. You never did. I thought that he was a good you spokesman, only, and you were like, yo, he's, yeah, he's only, actually a really cool you guy. You only chatted over email, where yeah. he sent you all No, no, no. You were like, yo, he's got a lot of good tapes. And I was like, no, what are you talking about? No, no, I never said that. I never said that about Jared. I said that about Steph Curry, because he's a spokesman for Subway now. That's right. Yeah. Who was last time he four or five years ago. And that was like, that was, I remember saying like, this is it. Yeah. I went to a subway in Penn station and I was like, this is a lot. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Who was standing around you? Just you and the homeless. Yeah, basically. It was, that's that's why I didn't like it because I had, houseless. A I had a chicken. Pe no, I had a chicken pizziola with fucking <laughs> notes of piss. <laughs> Nah, that sweet onion fucking chicken teriyaki. Nah, man. I would always get a Fuck custom that. sandwich, and it was fucking unbelievable and disgusting. Do you remember when we made friends with the guy at Subway, and we always used to hang out behind the counter? Yeah, we would hang out behind the counter. And do you remember the girl that worked there that yes. we called Spanish Love? Yes, I do. And she would give us free sandwiches. And, and free cookies. And free cookies. And yes. Barks Root Beer. Joe was a big Barks Root Beer boy. I did like root beer. And I hated it because you would always drink it and then burp the word barks, and I hated it. Wrong. You made that up because I don't burp. Oh, yeah. Keith used to barp. That is, you know what? You're right. I am wrong in this situation. Keith used to do that, though. He'd go, yeah. barks. <laughs> and I'd go, I remember they let us in the fridge one time. They let me go in that back room where the bathroom was. They had like all like their sauces lined up. When I think about this, <laughs> in a clear mind, what is happening? Because when we were from the ages of like 11 to 14... The guy at Subway let us go behind the counter and be in the fridge. Be in the Subway fridge. The fucking ice cream guy yeah. let us get in the truck and drive around the neighborhood with him. I, we were, like, dying to be enslaved. <laughs> like, dying. We wanted to get molested so bad. We wanted to be kidnapped and then sold well, because to Europe. Think about it like this. When you make a meal, you add a little seasoning, right? The molestation would have been the seasoning to our lives. Well, that's not going to be a clip now. <laughs> I can't say that. Jeez. We were we were very irresponsible. <laughs> Just cut this all out. Just cut it out, Josh. The whole thing. Go no, back. No, no, no. Cut it out. Go back to the. Uh, we're go not back. cutting. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. All right. Cutting. All right. All right. What are we saying? We really were behind it. <laughs> but that's crazy to think about. Yeah. I, and I'm, I owed money. I owed money to the ice cream guy, and I owed money to the Suvlaki stand guy. Sip, surf, and play? <laughs> well, I stole from them. I didn't owe them money. No, but I, I owed them money, too. I owed them goods because owe, I took goods from them. We owed them and Chelsea. Chelsea would spot us. I owe Chelsea about 150 bucks. At least. All in slushy money. And interest, you know, it's now probably like $600. $3,000, yeah. yeah, yeah no. Something like that. <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a high vig. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever been, like, wronged by food to sue them. <laughs> wronged by food? Yeah. Frankie, hold on to that thought. Uh, we do have some more sponsors for today. Uh, the first one being FitBot. If you're looking, if you're looking to get in shape, FitBot is going to help you do that. Summer is right around the corner when you really think about it. Uh, and FitBot is a great app that creates a workout program that per is personalized to your goals, fitness level, and available equipment. So if you don't have access to a gym or you don't have any uh, equipment at home or you have like just dumbbells or something, you can put that information in and it will create workouts based upon, again, uh, your available equipment and your fitness level. If you're a beginner, they have videos. Um, uh, they have over 1,400 demonstration videos so you can learn the workouts and do them correctly. Um, they also build off of your last workout. Um, and it's personalized for you, which is important because not every workout program is for everybody. It's all different based upon your goals and your body type and all these types of things. Um, but yeah, and you can get 25% uh, off of your subscription with FitBod. Also, this thing is incredibly affordable. Uh, it's way more uh, affordable than getting a personal trainer, which is very expensive. Um, but you should definitely try it out. You can get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. Um, but yeah, go try it out. Get 25% off of that subscription. Uh, next here, we have Prize Picks, which is a fun game to play uh, if you're into sports. Um, like literally every sport. They have NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, PGA, eSports, uh, WNBA, cricket. They have everything, basically. Uh, you can pick two to six players, and if they score more or less than the prize picks projection, you can win up to 25x your money, okay? Uh, so 25 times your money, 
again, you pick two to six players. Um, so an example would be Aaron Judge. How many hits is he going to have this game? And the projection could be set at one and a half. So he's, if he's, if he's going to have two hits or he's going to have under that, that's the, the, you know, the, the thing that you pick. And then if you win, you can win 25 times your money. Um, they have safe and fast withdrawals, currently operational in 30 states in Canada. You can download the Price Picks apps or go to pricepicks.com to sign up. Uh, first-time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code BASEMENT. If you deposit $100, Price Picks will give you $100 to play with. If you deposit $50, they will give you $50. Um, don't, forget to the, don't forget to enter the promo code BASEMENT at sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100, okay? Um, so, yeah, so go, go play that. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have Mood. Uh, Mood offers federally legal forms of THC extracted from hemp plants. Uh, all of their products are regularly regularly third-party tested in drug enforcement agency registered labs sourced from small family farms and grown organically uh, the experts at mood have tested and tailored different strains for specific moods there's energized creative focused uh, euphoric sleepy chill um, so yeah uh, however, however you like THC mood has you covered uh, it's great for both beginners and veteran users uh, great tasting gummies um, there's con there's pre-rolls as well uh, and for 20% off your first order and free gummies, go to hellomood.com and use the promo code BASEMENT. That is hellomood.com. Promo code is BASEMENT for 20% off of your order and free gummies. Okay? So go check it out. And now, I mean, we, we had stuff to talk about. I don't think we talked about any of it. <laughs> We talked about bone broth for an hour. We did talk about bone broth, and then we somehow got to anti-Semitism. Well, let's just stay on that, I guess. Yeah, why not? Um, it's your favorite topic anyways. But we just talked about you, Avram. Uh, stop uh, it. But, yeah, so recently in the news, Kanye West. Um, back in it. Back in the news. He's back in the, he's back in the, the news cycle. Uh, he said that... In a strange way. His anti-Semitism has been cured by... Which? Jonah Hill... Okay. Well, not Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill's performance in 21 Jump Street. Listen, um, I if have only lot. Hitler could have watched 21 <laughs> Jump Street, then we could have saved so many lives. Yeah, that's all what he, the hell are we talking that's about? That's all he needs. Listen, I think we've we've well established that Mr. West is severely mentally ill in whatever capacity. There's stuff happening. There's some stuff happening there. I, I will say though. If he is going to be cured by watching movies, TV, or stuff, there's a laundry list of stuff he could watch that might change his mind. 21 Jump Street, though. That's a strange one. Because I don't even think in the movie... Hey, there's not even, like, Jewish hints. Yeah. So I think there's he's There's no just hint so, of Jewishness. I think he's just so pumped by Jonah Hill's just, like, radiation of, of Judaism that he's just like... I guess. This guy, he, he fix it. It's like, you know what? And then he wrote a caption about... Like, the most obvious caption. He's like... Maybe we shouldn't judge a whole group of people because of one or two people. It's like... Fucking duh! Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what we've been saying. That's the thing. Yeah. Maybe don't go on your fucking social media platform and say you're going to go DEFCON 3 on an entire religion. DEFCON 3 or 4? I don't even... Uh, that's another thing. I don't know what that means. I think DEFCON is worse when it's like at lower numbers. Like DEFCON... Oh, no. Hot, 5, maybe? 
I don't know the, the levels of DEF CON. I think DEF CON, the five is the worst. But what is DEF CON? It's like a thing for like defense uh, something. Something. CON? Yeah. Communicate? So, def, DEF CON meaning. DEF CON means, uh, it just says, each of the series of five progressive levels of alert used by the U.S. Armed Forces. So oh. Like, what does DEF CON stand for? Defense readiness condition. Or simply defense a defense condition. So there we go. That's what it means. Oh, okay. So you're okay. So they like gearing up. So there's different levels. I don't know. So five is the worst. So it sounds like it. One DefCon five. They have they have oh they have exercise terms for it. So DefCon one. Uh, oh DefCon one is the worst. Sorry. Frank. I know I'm 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 fucked up. So five DefCon five means fade. They call it fade out. Lowest state of readiness, normal readiness. DEFCON 4, double take. Okay. Increased intelligence watch and strengthening, strengthened security measures above normal readiness. Mm-hmm. Getting, we're getting there. Whoa. He said DEFCON 3 in his post, and uh, the exercise term for it is roundhouse. So Kanye just basically, he basically said he wants a roundhouse. The juice. The juice. Increase in force readiness above that required for normal readiness. They're, the Air Force is ready to mobilize in 15 minutes. Whoa. Damn, you could do that that quick? I guess. DEFCON 2 is fast pace. Next step is nuclear war. Oh, Our shit. forces are ready to deploy and engage in less than six hours. DEFCON 1, known as the cocked pistol. Or cock. It's, uh, nuclear war is imminent or has already begun. Maximum readiness, immediate response. Nuclear war. Yeah, that's not good. Dude, can you imagine? So when you're going on your social media and you're referencing a... A, a roundhouse kick. A roundhouse kick on a scale that is used to describe nuclear warfare. Yeah. Ah, don't do it. Yeah. I hope that this starts a, a level of healing for him because 21 Jump Street, real good. You know what would be even fun? Well, I think that it would be really funny if people just accept this. Like they go, oh, thank God. <laughs> It's like, did, did we not? Yeah. Like, you like know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, but he's he's agreeing now. He's saying the right thing. He's saying, so like, like oh, we got he him. He literally said 21 Jump Street changed his mind. Wait till he sees 22. 22. Yeah, that might put him back, That honestly. might put, oh, no. Because that was like, all right, I think. No, it was really good. I like it. Wait, which it. one was 22? That was the one where, my name Jeff, where they go, oh, to, yeah, that where was they go good. to spring break. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> that was good. That, that was, was good. really good. Who was that, uh, the girl in that? That was so, that's so funny. Uh, oh, the girl from Workaholics, right? Yes. Um, ah, forgive me. I'm I'm forgetting her name. Why? Why did you just start talking like that? <laughs> Yo, like I'm a coworker. Ah, <laughs> oh, forgive me. Pardon I, I can't, me. I, can't I, I apologize. I can't sincerely remember. and deep. I. It's like it's such a, like a white girl name. Well, she's a white Jillian girl. Jillian Bell. There it is. Yeah, that is a white girl's name. That is a white woman's name. I know a girl named Jillian. You know the same one, white girl. Jillian. Yeah. Who do we know? Jillian from the neighborhood. Jillian from the neighborhood. Used to hang out with uh, Sean and Kevin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was white. Uh, she still is. Is she? Still is. All right, still okay. kicking white. Okay. I think I saw her with cornrows once. So Wasn't her. Uh, okay. <laughs> Definitely wasn't her. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man. Kanye, just just stop. Just come out and just say, I'm sorry. Maybe this is his way of saying I'm sorry, but not yet. It's an interesting way to do that. But. You know, just be like, I'm sorry. I am seeking help for my mental instability. Right. And I love everyone, and I want to lead with love. Boom. Don't say you watched 21 Jump Street. Yeah, also, like you're like 10 years late on that. Yeah, it was a good movie when it came out. Still a good movie. Yeah. Um. And then also another thing I wanted to talk about was like the t that TikTok girl that you brought up where she like hides a bunch of shit in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So TikTok user, I forget her name, uh, but uh, she boasts about the size of her butt and being able to hide bottles and, and swords. She's got a big fat wagon? She got, she's got double time. Wait, you say she got swords in her ass? She says she can hide swords in it. Okay, but what does that mean to put a sword in your ass? Uh, it, like put it in and like you know in the hole not in the hole Joey oh in the crack put it in the crack like close to your back and then the blade goes up your back like like your like your Wonder Woman Wonder Woman yeah you don't remember in Wonder Woman 1984 Wonder Woman she had a sword in her ass she had a well because there's a scene where she's walking in a dress like a gala 
with a sword in her back. Or maybe it's the first one. Yeah, it's the first one, not, not 84. And she, there's a sword, and like people were like, in order for her to do that, it would have to be like the in her butt. Oh. Like the, the, the what is it? The, the, the metal part? The, ma- the mantle? The, the, uh, the handle. The handle. Mantle? The, it's got a word or something like that. But yeah, she, apparently she's hiding stuff in her butt. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. You ever hit something in your butt? Between my cheeks? Yeah. Maybe like a Metro card. If you had a big old fat all, would you? What would I put back? What would I need Did to you put say back? A metro card? <laughs> <laughs> I put you never put a Metro card in your ass? Nope. Come on. No. Nope. Well, you don't like to have fun then. Oh, so this is this Putting is a your... Metro card in your ass and holding it between your cheeks? Definition of fun. Is fun. Yes. Yeah, okay. No, it is objectively fun. I remember when I was a kid I You had... never held anything between your butt cheeks. Of course I have, Joey. What have you held? An apple? Dude. You've never done that? You can't hold an apple between your ass cheeks. Yeah, I can. You can hold an apple between your ass cheeks? Absolutely, dude. That's unbelievable. Is it? Frankie. I feel like it's I could never no- do that. I feel like it's pretty normal. To hold an apple between your ass? Yeah. That's not normal. I'm talking about a Metro card. Very thin. It is thin. You're well, talking about we've a also full discussed, apple. We've also discussed your butt sucks. Well, you said that. Nope. People like my butt. Who? People have who see it. Who? April. There's, my mom says I have a cute butt. Yeah. Your mom's your mom. Yeah. She's going to say that because she saw Whatever. your butt as a babe. Whatever. You're shoving apples in your ass. Not, stop. Stop that. I'm not shoving apples in my ass. I can. If 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 the the situation called for it, I could I could hold an apple in my butt. My phone. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done that with my phone. I can think I can put my phone in my ass. I've never done it. Try You've it. done Try that? Right now. Try it right First now. of all, you gave me shit for a Metro card. You're putting your phone in your Try ass? Try it right now. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. You're going to... What do you mean? You're going to step off? Step off real quick. <laughs> Told you. Crushed it. <laughs> you barely had that thing hanging on. It held on though. What's the? It, but you can't put a fucking apple in there. I can. I can get an apple. I, I think. Maybe raw butt cheeks. You can. Raw butt cheeks. Yeah. This is a more grip. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Clothes, pants. No way. Pants. Pants on. No way. Oh, oh. I thought you meant putting pants between your ass cheeks. <laughs> like what? No. Uh, but I, I, you've never been like at a bar and like tried to like hide like a beer, in my ass. Well, maybe not in your ass, but like in like your waistband. Why would I have to hide it? I'm at a bar. <laughs> to like leave with it. Wait, you. St- all right, you've done it. Of course I have. <laughs> what is of course? Of course. Wait, you so you stole you a go beer. Go bar hopping with the bros. Wait, in a cup? No, in a bottle. Okay. Go bar hopping with the bro. I've also stole cups from bars as well. Obviously, I've done that. Yeah. Um, My mom's done that. That thief. Yeah. Good. Good for her. Yeah. She's she's allowed to. Yeah. No. Uh, but. You have a couple bottles, and the boys are like, yo, we're going to the next bar. And I'm like, all right, give me a sec. I'll get a road soda. You go to the bar. You get two bottles, and you put them in the waist lining of your waistband, you know, and then you just like, – and then you walk real slow. Hey, what's up? So when you get to the new place, you just whoop, take it out, and you already got a, bo- a beer. Or you drink on the street. Don't do that. Only in Vegas. I mean, you drank those on the street. Come on. What's better than drinking outside? Why is it not allowed? Honestly, I don't know. A couple of just fucking freaks ruined it for the rest of us. Well, I think that people are, were getting drunk and falling into the street and getting hit by vehicles. Yeah, what's the difference between going inside and doing that and going outside and doing that? One of them has cars. <laughs> yeah, but, you, but you're going to tell me there hasn't been a really beautiful day and you're like, God damn, do I wish I could walk the street with like a fucking beer. I'll be honest with you. I, whenever I want to do it, I do it. Oh. Yeah. You break the law. Yes. Good for you. I do. Can't wait until you're arrested. Well, I don't think, I don't think you get arrested for open container. They just give you like a little fine. I've gotten, uh, Pete and I once, I've done it before too. Sorry, kids, if you're watching. Uh, I've done it. I'm not proud of it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud. I'm fighting the law. I'm pretty proud, dude, if I'm being honest. That's why like rooftop bars are great. It's like, I'm in the air. And I'm outside. Outside and drinking. This is sick. But I've had like, like 
cops driving by and like, you know, just like fucking like ditching, you know, into like a garbage can or something. It's all right. There was a kid from our neighborhood who was younger than us. Uh, and one time I was walking down Steinway and I forgot where I was going. But then the cops pulled up crazy hard. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then this kid had a 40 in his hand on Steinway, which is a popular street in Astoria. And uh, he's like, yo, yo, just walk. I'm, w- I'm with you. I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. He's <laughs> like, I'm not with you. I was like, put it down. It's even like I, f- for some reason, feel more safe when I'm doing it compared to when I'm with someone that's doing it. I haven't done it in a very long time, if I'm being really honest. Yeah. But like, if I'm drinking on the street, I'm like, I got this. But like, if I'm walking with someone and they're drinking on the street, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah. You no. know, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, do you remember when we would drive up to Connecticut and I would just look at the map and then as soon as we cross into Connecticut, I would open a beer in the back Yeah, seat. I, I don't know if that law still holds up. I don't think it does either. I don't think it does. I haven't done that in a while, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was like 10 years ago yeah. we were talking. Uh, but... 10 years ago when I just turned 21. Oh my God, I'm so old. I'm 31 years old. You're 31, Joey. Relax. It's disgusting. You are disgusting. Well, no. It. What's not me. It? Time? The passage of time. The passage of time. Not disgusting. Beautiful. Incredible. Ew, what was that? What? You went like this. Oh, I I had to wet my lips. Oh, you were like the fucking joker. <laughs> Take it easy there, psycho. Um, anyway, I think we could wrap up here, Frank. Ah, man. Come on. Let's do another. Let's, let's do go another, drink outside. Let's do another 12. It's too cold. It is a little cold today. The moment it gets nice, though, dogs. What? We're getting close to dog sucking season oh, coming real back, dog baby. Season. Spring dogs, good dogs. But summer dogs? Summer dogs. Oh, summer dogs. Oh, base, Make me Baseball feel. game dogs. Baseball game summer dog with beer. I want to get a fat foot long dog oh remember with like bullshit on it no yeah i want to go like chili let's do an office outing to like a a game duh and let's just go and just dog it up yeah we should go to city field though yeah not yankee stadium i love the yankees and yankee stadium city field a little nicer i'll say a little bit easier to leave And, and yeah actually that's not true no it is yeah i could like walk home basically you could it would take a while, but you could. Yeah. Anyway, where can they find you, Frank? F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all of the forms of social media. Then make sure you go check out The Basement Yard on Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, where you can get these weekly episodes a week in advance, and you can get exclusive episodes every single Friday. Thank you so much. Bless you. That was very quick. Uh, you get. He said thank you. Got it. That was a thank you now. Uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe Sandigal. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Get-